Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my lovely blue bubble. Um, I'm not showing as much as I normally would because my room is actually a huge mess right now. But anyway, I just wanted to get on. I can't. I always do that. I feel like my mouth gets all dry and crap. Anyway, so. <laughs> Um, I just wanted to do a simple hairstyle that I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, this is called a, what, a wash and go? It's my natural curls. And I've had my wash and go for about, it's been over a week, so maybe a week and a half or something like that. Um, I don't like to disturb the curls if they still look good. So that's why I've gone a little bit longer this time. Normally I do, I redo it every weekend. So, but anyway. I talk a lot. <laughs> That's what you get for being gone for like over a week. You have so much crap to talk about. No, I just talk a lot. Anyway, moving on. So um, to start the hairstyle, I'm going to be doing the half up, half down top knot. Now I was going to let my bangs stay and do the top knot here and then just have the rest out, but the looser the curls get, the more they get in the way and they poke me in the eyeball throughout the day and stuff. So I just decided I'm going to put it all the way back. Maybe some other day I'll experiment with the bangs out. So I'm taking, I probably showed this to you already, but I was too busy talking. Um, I'm using the well, the Wells Oil um, Castor Oil and I got this from my local beauty supply store. And I'm just going to put it on my fingertips and rub it onto my scalp and I'm just doing that to loosen up the cast from the leftover gel and stuff like that that I used to hold my curls and to give my scalp uh, and to give my scalp some moisturization because it feels a little dry and then whatever oil I have left on my hands I'm just gonna go ahead and scrunch it through now, I was watching a few videos about this earlier because, I mean, I've done it before, but usually with my whole hair up, and I just wanted to, I don't know, see how other people do it since they've had a little bit more practice. One of the girls I watched today was called Wonderfully You, and I can put that at the bottom if you want to see how she did her hair. Now, her hair is not curly. It's naturally straight, and it's a lot longer than mine. So, of course, it's going to look a lot different, but that's one of the girls that I watched today when I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do my top knot. All right, Mika, can you talk a little less? My spray bottle decided it was going to break on me. Well, I don't know if it's broken or not, but the, it's not spraying, so <laughs> I'm just going to dampen my hair a little bit with this water bottle. Pour a little bit of water in my hands. And put it right there in the front just to loosen that part of my hair up a little bit and I need to get my edge control out of my purse Lord Jesus help me please got it and this is from Ors. and I what I don't like about this product is that you know after a while it leaves like a white residue type thing but um it's the only one that I've used so far and I'm just parting my hair right here wow so about at the ear and I'm going up in a triangular form so um I've tried many um edge control pastes and Ors is the main one that really like tackles my stubborn edges. So that's why I continue to use it. But do you see all that like dried up gel <laughs> falling? That's so disgusting. I mean, it's just gel, but still it's like, ew. It looks like dandruff or snow falling from the sky. Anyway. So, and I'm not aiming to have like a perfect part, just as long as I get enough hair to make a reasonably sized bun. So now that I have the section that I want to use for my bun, I'm going to go ahead and take a little scrunchie and pull the rest of my hair back so it's not in the way. Alright, and I'm going to be using two products from the Curls line. The Lavish Curls Moisturizer Second Curl Refresher Daily Leave-In. 
<laughs> that's a lot but it's the pink and purple bottle and the creme brulee ripped curl cream whipped <laughs> curl cream my hair looks so stupid just sitting there anyway <laughs> curl defining and moisturizing cream formulated with whatever it's got a lot of good stuff in there and that's the orange and blue bottle all right so i can stop looking like johnny bravo over here um this is my first time using this so actually i lied it's my second time using this product and i just like to go ahead and spray it directly onto my hair now i was expecting it to like spray out like you know like a like a hairspray kind of sort of but instead oh it smells so good though I'm trying to figure out what it smells like like i don't know like passion fruit or something does it say it's passion fruit whatever like passion fruit or something i don't know so i'm just going ahead and smoothing that all over okay and once i have that up i'm gonna add a little bit of the cream just to put some moisturization into my curls and this one smells like straight coconuts it smells so good so I'm going to be walking around basically smelling like a smoothie bar. <laughs> all right. And I just do that from the top to the bottom all the way down to my tips. And so now I'm going to get my edge control paste. I don't even know if you can see that. Yep. All right. And just put that right on my edges. And I need more for the other side. I thought that would be enough, but I use a lot of products, so I should have known better than that. And a little bit more for this last part over here, and I'm just going to take my, I guess this is a bore brush. Is it a bore brush? I don't know. It has like the stiff bristles and just work the edge control into my hair. And I'm not going all the way up. I don't want to rip my curls out of my head. <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just going over it enough to smooth out those stubborn edges. All right. So there you go. And I have another gancho. Aquí. That's what it's called. Right? Chonga. Why did I say gancho? I'm so silly. All right. So. I'm going to pull this all the way to the top of my head. And I'll probably go over it a few times. So that's one, two, three, four. Let's try for a fifth time. Just because I really want to make sure that this stays. I'll probably keep this in for tomorrow too until I'm ready to wash my hair again. Alright, so there that goes. And I've seen this done a few ways. Some people part it and do two different thingy-majiggers. And I think that's how I'm going to do it too because my hair might look like it's kind of thick, but it's actually very thin. It just looks thicker because of the curls. And I'm going to go ahead and do a loose twist. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, like, just like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side which means I probably should have brought some bobby pins. I see one here on my desk. So we, we're gonna try to, let me just grab another one. Okay, I was gonna try to just go ahead and use one, but let's just do this right the first time. We'll try our best to do it right the first time. All right, so. I have two bobby pins, so I just twirled it around, as you saw. Put the bobby pin in there, and then, which way did I go? And then I'm going to go the opposite direction for the other one. I hope I don't look dumb, because I kind of have like a long face. I mean, it's not like long, long, but I have an oval-shaped head, so <laughs> I always wonder, like, when I do hairstyles like this, if it makes my face look like all extra long so yeah see that was very easy very simple now i'm going to take the rest of my hair out doesn't look too bad 
put a little bit of water and rub that through the back of my hair just to reactivate some of the gel that I already have in my hair. I think I'm going to put a little bit more. Okay. And I did have this little bun thingy majigger just in case I needed it to make this bun look a little bit bigger. But I mean, I think I I think I like it the way that it is. I think I'm just going to keep it like that. And okay. I don't want you to be able to see any of the gel cast in my hair. I hate that. And then like the kids that I watch sometimes they're like, what's that light stuff in your hair? It looks like you're an old lady. And I'm like, it's gel. Leave me alone. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this on there. Do the same thing that I essentially did to the hair that's in the bun now. Alright, and so I don't waste any extra time. I'm just going to go ahead and fluff this up a little bit and go over it with the hair cream and then just add a tiny bit more gel. Just because I don't like my hair being frizzy and I have a feeling with me re-wetting my hair and manipulating it a lot that it's going to get really frizzy. So I'll be right back after I do that. Alright, so I'm all done with reapplying the gel and stuff and see how there's like a white cast right there from the other products that I added to my hair. So, and I just redid, you know, around the edges where you can see it and in the back where some of the curls have lost their their shape and their hold so I'm gonna go ahead and dry it so I don't look like a half old woman and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this um, diffuser and um, dry my hair and I'll be right back all right so yay I'm done with that um, and basically I just used what I like about this thing is it has many different options and so I just went ahead and put it on low medium heat and just with that little bit of hair because for some reason my hair takes forever to dry it took me a good maybe four or five minutes just to dry the front of my hair like it's ridiculous so to top off this look I'm gonna go ahead and put these hoop earrings on because I like how they look with the with the look and then that's basically it because like I said you know I try not to do my makeup and hair videos together anymore because 15 minutes just isn't enough for me to go through and explain everything and I'm just trying to find the right backings to these earrings hello and you don't need to watch me put my earrings on so hold on I'll be back all right y'all earrings are in the video is coming to an end I just wanted to go ahead and top off this look or maybe not because I can't find the freaking nozzle. Oh, it popped off. Only in my world. Only in my world. <laughs> Just to add a little bit of sheen. Not have my mouth open. To add some extra sheen and conditioning. And I'm done. Um, by the way, if you guys were wondering whatever happened to that fourth video um, using the Sandstorm iQuad. I was hesitant on whether or not I wanted to do it because it's it was limited edition and it's been discontinued for the moment because we did just come out with our new spring line. So if you're interested in that and you want to know what we've come up with for the spring, go ahead and visit my webpage, which I'll link at the bottom as per usual. And I see y'all later. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Yeah.